Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Configure initial switch settings. Before coming to this packet tracer activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Also, if you like to get this uh, packet tracer activity file or any technical support or any help, uh, you can visit our website. Our blog link I given in the description. Okay, now we will come back to our packet tracer activity. Configure initial switch settings. Yes, so in this activity, uh, firstly we will verify uh, the default switch configurations on both switches uh, S1 and S2. Then we will configure a basic switch configuration uh, like setting line passwords or uh, configuring uh, MO, TD banner, etc. Once the configuration done, we will save the configuration file uh, from RAM to NVRAM. Yes, so in this activity, we will perform basic switch configuration tasks. We will secure access to the command line interface and console ports using encrypted, also using plain text passwords. We will also learn how to configure messages for users logging into the switch. These messages banners are also used to warn unauthorized users that access is prohibited. And in this packet tracer, the Catalyst 2960 series switch uses iOS version 12.2 by default. So we can verify that coming to S1. Enable here we can give you the version show version. Here we can see a uh, software version it's a 12.2. And if required the iOS version can be updated from a file server in the pack tracer topology. The switch can then be configured to boot to iOS version 15.0 uh, if that version is required. Okay, if required, uh, uh, we have to do that. Otherwise, we can use this uh, default version 12.2. Uh, First of all, we will verify the default switch configuration. So, enter the privileged exit mode. Already, we have seen how to go to different uh, modes uh, in iOS. So, uh, we can access all switch command from privileged exit mode. However, because many of the privileged commands configure operating parameters, privileged access should be password protected to prevent unauthorized use. The privileged exit command set includes the commands available in user exit mode, many additional commands and the configure command through which access to the configuration modes is gained. Yes, so in the previous uh, packet tracer activity, we have seen uh, how to go to uh, different modes in the iOS. So here, click S1 and then the CLI tab, press enter, then enter privileged exit mode by entering the enable command. So in a user exit mode, we have to give this command enable so that we will go to privileged exit mode. Notice that the prompt changed to reflect privileged exit mode. Yes, uh, it, it will reflect like this, switch hash. So we will verify that now. We will go to switch S1, CLI. So here already we are in uh, uh, privileged exit mode because we given the show command show version. So we can exit from that. So now we can see we are in user exit mode. Here we can see the prompt, it's a switch greater than. Here we are going to give the command enable, then press enter and here we can see now we are in uh, privileged exit mode. Next is examine the current switch configuration, enter the show running config command. So we are going to give this command in uh, uh, privileged exit mode uh, so that we can examine the current switch configuration. Then we have to answer uh, the following questions. Before giving that show command, we will go through all the questions here. Uh, how many fast Ethernet interfaces does the switch have? How many gigabit Ethernet interfaces uh, does the switch have? What is the range of values shown for the VTY lines? 
which command will display the current contents of the non-volatile random access memory that is nvram why does the switch respond with startup config is not present okay now we will go to our switch s1 and we will give this command that is show running config show running config okay here we can uh, sp uh, press space uh, because here we can see there are more information either we can press enter enter means it will show only one line if you give one uh, space it will show uh, enter page okay that's all we will uh, go through all the informations here here we can see by default host name is uh, switch also we can see its version 12.2 and here we can see uh, fast Ethernet interfaces from 0 slash 1 till 0 slash 24. Also, we can see uh, 2 gigabit Ethernet ports. So, here we can see line console. Also, we can see line VTY from uh, 0 to 4 and 5 to 15. So, total uh, 16 lines. Yes, we got answers for some of the questions. Uh, how many fast Ethernet interfaces uh, does the switch have? Uh, we have seen it's uh, uh, 24. And how many gigabit Ethernet interfaces uh, does the switch have? Uh, it was uh, 2. And what is the range of values uh, shown for the VTY lines? So we have seen it's from uh, 0 to 4, then 5 to 16. Uh, actually, it's a total 16 lines. Here, the next question is, which command will display the current contents of non-volatile random access memory, that is NVRAM. So, here we given show running config, uh, so that we can uh, see the uh, content of uh, RAM. So, uh, to see the content of uh, NVRAM, we have to give the command show startup config. So, here we will give that. Enable show startup config startup hyphen config and it says startup hyphen config is not present that means there is no content in the ram why does the switch respond with the startup config is not present yes so whenever we do some configuration in any network devices uh, it will go to ram it won't go to nvram so uh, if you want to save from ram to nvram uh, we have to copy it from ram to nvram so until and unless we copy the content of ram to nvram there won't be any content in nvram okay now we will move to the next part create a basic switch configuration uh, first of all we will assign a name to a switch to configure parameters on a switch uh, you may be required to move between various configuration modes notice how the prompt changes as you navigate through the switch here we can here we can see the commands to uh, assign a name to a switch so we have to go to global configuration mode by giving the, this command the configure terminal uh, then we have to give host name then we have to specify the host name what we require. We will do that coming to our switch S1 CLI. Now we are in a privileged exit mode. So we have to go to global configuration mode uh, by giving this uh, command configure. So C O N F. Then we can uh, press tab so that it will complete this uh, command to configure. Then we can give a terminal. We have to give a T, then we can press tab, so configure terminal, then press enter. And here we can see now we are in global configuration mode. Now we will set host name. Uh, there is a command host name, H, O, then we will put question mark. And here we can see host name. Okay, so we will press tab. Then we have to set a host name. Uh, this systems network name here uh, as specified we will set yes one then press enter so here we can see the change in the prompt now it shows yes one config hash so previously uh, it was uh, showing uh, the default switch name as a switch now it's yes one we set the host name and now we, we will uh, secure access to the console line 
to secure access to the console line access config line mode and set the console password to let me in so here we are going to set this password let me in so for that we have to go to this mode uh, uh, it's a config line mode and here we can see the commands to secure access to the console line uh, we have to go to global configuration mode by this uh, command configure terminal then we have to go to config line mode uh, line console zero we have only uh, one uh, console line so that's why we given only zero then we have to give our password uh, here the command is password then we have to specify our password then we have to give the login command so that uh, this password will prompt in the next login okay then we have to exit now we will give these commands in our switch s1 yes, so coming to our switch here we can see uh, already we are in uh, global configuration mode so now we will go to uh, this uh, uh, config line mode for that we have to give line we have console c o n then we will press tab console then the uh, number of lines we have only one line here so we will give zero then press enter and here we can see now we are in config line mode here we are going to set the password so password and then specify the password what we require so as specified in our activity it's uh, let me in then press enter now we have to give the command login i'm going to give your question mark and uh, here we can see login so here we can see login enable password checking right so we will enable that there is a question why is the login command required yes already i told here we set the password then uh, when we uh, get into cli next time it should prompt for the password so we can see that here itself before that don't confuse uh, because i told uh, when we log into cli uh, so here actually whenever uh, we access uh, a device uh, using console uh, then it will prompt for this password we will verify that so we have the next step here uh, verify that console access is now secured exit privileged mode to verify that the console port password is in effect so we are going to uh, exit from this uh, uh, line uh, mode and then we will exit from this uh, privileged exit mode so that we can verify uh, the console access is secured or not so coming to our s1 we will exit from this mode okay or we can press ctrl z uh, shortcut from keyboard so that we will be in a privileged exit mode here we are going to give the command exit so here we can see now press return to get started we are going to press enter here and here we can see user access verification so it's prompted for the password we have to give the password here what we set for the line console it's let me in so then we'll press enter so now we are in uh, user exit mode here we can see that uh, that type to password is invisible so only the thing we have to uh, enter the password correctly yes so this is uh, what happened here okay if the switch did not prompt you for a password then you did not configure the login parameter in step 2 yes that's why we have to give this uh, uh, command login if you are not giving this uh, login command uh, it won't prompt for this password uh, when we uh, go to uh, console access next time next step is a secure privileged mode access set the enable password to c1 dollar c0 this password protects access to privileged mode they given a note here uh, the zero uh, or this uh, character uh, in this password is a zero not a capital o this password will not grade as correct until after you encrypt it in step eight 
secure all the passwords uh, depends on the network engineer but in this activity we have to set uh, the passwords as specified in this uh, activity uh, because uh, it's for this uh, uh, scoring purpose so here we can see how to secure privileged mode access uh, we have to give enable then uh, configure terminal then we will be in uh, global configuration mode there we have to give the command enable space password then we have to give the required password okay we can do that in our switch s1 so before that just i will copy this uh, password now coming to s1 enable we have to go to global configuration mode configure t tab here we are going to enable password yes tab will press then we have to give the password set exit level password so we already copied that it's here then press enter now we will exit next we are going to verify that privileged mode access uh, is uh, secured or not because already we configured that now enter the exit command again to log out of the switch and press enter and you will uh, now be asked for a password uh, that is the first password the line console password what we set then the first password is the console password you configured for line console 0 correct then enter this password to return to user exit mode then enter the command to access a privileged mode uh, we know we have to give a enable command then enter the second password you configured to protect privileged exit mode so we configured that here we have to give this password we will try that we will go to switch s1 we will exit okay now press return to get started okay now it's a prompt for the password here the password is uh, let me in this is the password what we set for uh, line console 0 and here we are going to give the command enable then press enter and here we can see now it's prompted for the password so here our password is uh, cisco it's here c1 dollar c0 press enter and here we can see now we are in privileged exit mode it's working Yes, our privileged mode access is uh, secured. Next is uh, verify your configuration by examining the contents of the running configuration file. Okay, we have to give this command uh, show running config. So notice that the console and enable passwords are both in plain text. Okay, we will verify that using this uh, show command uh, show running config. Uh, this could uh, post a security risk if someone is uh, looking over your shoulder or obtains access to config files stored in a backup location that's obviously correct uh, because these passwords are uh, stored as a plain text so we can verify that uh, we will give uh, the show command here show running config so r u n we can press tab then press enter okay so host name s1 and here we can see enable password and here we can see the password it's in plain text so we'll press space and here we can see line console 0 and password is let me in and this password also in plain text it's not secure now we will go to step 6 configure an encrypted password to secure access to privileged mode the enable password should be replaced with the newer encrypted secret password using the enable secret command see the previous command we given was uh, enable password so here we are going to uh, replace uh, with enable secret so whenever we give enable password then password uh, that will be a plain text so whenever we use uh, enable uh, secret command uh, that password will be an encrypted password so set the enable a secret password to it says secret then there is an ambiguity because uh, we configured two password for privileged exit mode one is using enable password one is using enable secret so here we can see that uh, 
they given a note here the enable secret password overrides the enable password yes so this we have to keep in mind if both are configured on this switch uh, you must enter the enable secret password not enable password okay to enter privileged exit mode okay just we will configure this encrypted password to secure uh, access to privileged mode just i will copy this password We'll press Ctrl C. We will go to Global Configuration Mode, C O N F tab, T tab, and here we are going to give the command Enable. We have a secret, so assign the privileged level secret, secret, then our uh, password as specified. Uh, it's a secret. Then we are going to press Enter. Now we will verify that the enable secret password is added to the configuration file. So enter the show running config command again to verify the new enable secret password is configured. Uh, you can abbreviate show running config as show run. Okay. So what is displayed for the enable secret password? We will check that. Uh, why is the enable secret password displayed differently from what we configured? we will verify that so we will exit from here we can press ctrl z then press enter here we are going to give the command show running config r u n then we can press enter and here we can see enable secret and here we can see an encrypted password what is displayed for the enable secret password so here we have seen that enable secret and here we can see something uh, encrypted dollar one dollar m e r okay whatever it's an encrypted password next is why is the enable secret password displayed differently from what we configured now actually we configured it's a secret and we already told we are going to configure an encrypted password so obviously that password it's a secret will be encrypted that's why it shows like this see if somebody is looking over your shoulder or obtain access to uh, config files stored in backup location then uh, is it possible to understand this password for those people no, obviously not because it's encrypted. Now we are going to encrypt the enable and console passwords because those passwords are in plain text. As you noticed in step 7, the enable secret password was encrypted, but the enable and console passwords were still in plain text. That's correct. So here itself we can see that enable password Cisco, it's in plain text. We will now encrypt these plain text passwords using the service password hyphen encryption command. So we are going to encrypt these plain text passwords uh, such as enable password and line console password. Here we can see the command. Uh, we have to go to global configuration mode then we have to give a service space password hyphen encryption. We'll press ctrl C configure terminal c o n f tab t tab press enter here we are going to give the command service s e r then we can press tab then we can see password encryption so encrypt system passwords we can give a p a then we can press tab then press enter then we will exit press enter again If you configure any more passwords on the switch, uh, will they be displayed in the configuration file as a plain text or in encrypted form? Explain. Obviously, it will be encrypted. Whenever we give this service password encryption, all the passwords whatever we set and the password what we are going to set in future also will be encrypted. Okay, just we will verify whether all the plain text passwords are encrypted or not. So we will give that command show running config. We have to give R U N then press enter. 
so here we can see enable password so that Cisco it's enabled I mean uh, uh, it's encrypted it was in a plain text now it's encrypted okay now we'll go to line console so here we can see line console password so we given uh, let me in but here we can see now it's encrypted now we are going to configure a MOTD banner uh, that is message of the day banner the Cisco iOS command set includes a feature that allows you to configure messages that anyone logging onto the switch sees these messages are called the message of the day or MOTD banners enclose the banner text in quotations or use a delimiter different from any character appearing in the MOTD string so here we can see how we have to configure uh, this MOTD banner uh, we have to go to global configuration mode uh, we have to give the command banner space MOTD space then we have to start and end with a delimiter then we have to give our message any message uh, any meaningful message uh, this is a secure system authorized access only okay now coming to the configuration uh, MOTD banner we will uh, copy this uh, message then coming to our uh, switch S1 configure terminal again we can uh, press tab so terminal comes press enter here we have to give the commands banner MOTD then we have to uh, specify our text with the delimiter so it can be any delimiter don't think that we have to give uh, only this uh, quotation we can give any delimiter for example we can give dollar so we have to change here also two dollar then press enter next is when will this banner be displayed obviously when we go to uh, I mean when we access uh, uh, console uh, so we will uh, see that what we will do we will exit from here and we will exit from this uh, CLI and here we can see press return to get started we are going to press enter and here we can see that message this is a secure system authorized access only and why should every switch have a MOTD banner uh, it's obviously better to set uh, a MOTD banner on every uh, devices because it's a security warning to all the uh, intruders and here we can see it's a to configure messages that anyone logging onto the switch sees so that any intruders uh, come to our devices uh, they get a warning message what we set next is save the verify configuration files to nvram so whatever we configured everything is in ram so now we are going to save that files from ram to nvram so verify that the configuration is accurate using the show run command save the configuration file you have completed the basic configuration of the switch now back up the running configuration file to nvram to ensure that the changes made are not lost if the system is rebooted or loses power sure we can see the command what we have to uh, give uh, to save uh, the configuration file to nvram copy space running config space startup config so we are going to copy from our ram that is a running config uh, to our nvram that is a startup config so then they will uh, uh, prompt for a file name uh, we can press enter so that it will take its a default to file name uh, that is a startup hyphen config coming to the configuration we will save our configuration from ram to nvram we have to give the command copy then running config so we can give a running config then space startup config st a, then we can press tab startup config then press enter destination file name startup config is it okay then press enter so building configuration okay it's done 
what is the shortest abbreviated version of the copy running hyphen config space startup hyphen config command okay we can get that so copy c we'll press question mark now we have many commands so we can give c o then we can give a p okay we have only copy space uh, running config we will uh, try with the r then question mark uh, yes we can see only one command with the r it's okay then space startup config we will uh, try with the yes uh, we have uh, two commands so we will give st yes so we can uh, see here the shortest command uh, cop space r space st so we can give this command so that we can uh, save from ram to nvram so once more we will uh, press enter with this uh, shortest command here cop space r space st then press enter and we can see it's working destination file name start config it's okay next is examine the startup configuration file okay we can do that which command will display the contents of the nvram obviously we have to give the show command show startup config so that we can see the contents of nvram are all the changes that were entered recorded in the file we will verify that coming to our switch s1 here we are going to give the command show or run, uh, startup config not running config so that we can see the content of our nvram show startup config yes then press enter and here we can see the same details what they are in our ram host name enable secret enable password line console password yes everything there finally we are going to configure our switch s2 uh, we have completed the configuration on S1, that's correct. So now we will uh, configure S2. If you cannot remember the commands, refer uh, to the parts uh, 1 to 4 for assistance. Very easily we can do it on uh, our switch S2 also. Uh, here we can see we have to configure uh, the following parameters. Device name we have to configure as S2. Protect the access to the console using the let me in password, same password what we configured uh, in our S1. Configure and enable password of uh, C1 dollar C0 and an enable secret password of it's a secret. Configure an appropriate message to those logging into the switch. Then encrypt all plain text passwords. Ensure that the configuration is correct. Then save the configuration file to avoid loss if the switch is powered down. Let's do it on uh, our switch S2. Coming to S2. Enter. Enable. E N A. We can press tab. Press enter. Then uh, configure terminal. C O N F. Press tab. Press tab again. Configure terminal. Okay, here we are going to set the host name. We have H O S T host name S yes, two. Press enter. Now we will go to line console zero. Then we will set the password P A S tab password as a let me in. Okay, then we will give the command login so that it will prompt the password uh, when we uh, login next time okay now we will enable password so we will exit from this mode uh, config line mode exit and here we can give enable password then here is our password just we will copy it then press enter then we will enable secret enable se tab and here is our secret password it's a secret we will copy it and paste here then press enter now we will configure an appropriate message uh, using banner MOTD banner MOTD then we will start with a delimiter we can give the message unauthorized access is strictly prohibited 
and we have to end with the same delimiter okay then press enter now encrypt all plain text passwords we have to use the command service password hyphen encryption now we will ensure that the configuration is correct we can give a show now we have to go to uh, privileged exit mode because now we are in a, a global configuration mode so we will exit and here we will give a show running config and we will verify the details the host name is correct enable secret and here we can see enable password is also encrypted and here we can see banner MOTD what we set unauthorized access is strictly prohibited and this is actually the delimiter uh, this message won't come in our uh, uh, MOTD it will show only unauthorized access is strictly prohibited don't worry about this uh, delimiter okay then here we can see line console password it's encrypted and finally uh, after verifying all these configurations we will save the configuration file to avoid loss if the switch is powered down okay we can do that press ctrl c or ctrl z copy we can give that shortest command here c o p space r space s t then we will press enter so destination file name startup hyphen config yeah it's okay press enter so it's configured it's copied so friends in this video uh, we configured ccna version 7 packet tracer activity configure initial switch settings now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below or you can visit our website uh, and contact us if you like to get this packet tracer activity file uh, you can contact us uh, using our uh, blog a link I given in the description. So stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.